Three. Anin Tanse Nandogishi Kwe and Dishnakaz Nabinsing and Dunjaba Kitaganing and Dayan. My name is Carol Kuchi and I'm a midwife at Kitaganing Midwives at Nipissing First Nation. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about baby blues or what people, your doctor might call postpartum mood disorders. When babies arrive, they bring healing and change. However, sometimes that healing doesn't happen as fast as we would like, and sometimes the change is too big for us to incorporate. Sometimes that change can bring about or remind us of past traumas, and this can give us um, an inability to cope with all the emotions and hormones that, are, that come with childbirth. Your body has a lot of hormones that will help you with the change. They will help you bring in your milk. They will help you go to sleep. They will help your baby go to sleep. They will help you with baby attachment or bonding. Um, falling in love with your baby is another way of putting it. However, for some people, these hormones that help us are too much or not enough. And this can bring about the postpartum mood disorders. Um, this profound change um, can be helped or these mood disorders can be helped. And a long time ago, our people had many, many ceremonies that would help facilitate the healing of these uh, mood disorders. However, not every community has access to these ceremonies. Not everybody knows about them. But that doesn't matter. You can still um, ask people, even from other places, to help you with that, with those ceremonies. Um, and even if people don't know, um, even somebody telling you about their ceremony and you having a way to relate to that can give you an extra chance. Um, Some of the traumas have got to do with the colonization methods that were used by non-Indigenous people in our families um, to our grandparents, aunties and uncles. Some people lost their children. Some people were taken away to residential school and weren't uh, the best of parents. So that it can affect the young people of today having their babies. It still affects us, affects us in a big way, even if we don't recognize that us uh, recognize that right away. Maybe you're someone who is adopted, or maybe you are someone who had to go to uh, child and family services, and you don't remember your parents, or you were, or you didn't have a good time. Um, you don't have good memories with your parents. These are all things that can be overcome, and. It doesn't have to have a huge effect on the relationship between you and your baby. There can be healing. So if you have any symptoms like not being able to go, go to sleep, feeling anxious and having intrusive thoughts, um, feeling of sadness, profound sadness, unable to laugh in the same way that you did before, things like these talk to your healthcare provider, talk to a midwife if that's possible, and um, don't be afraid to reach out. This message is brought to you by the National Aboriginal Council of Midwives. We're here to help you. You can go to our website and we will try to contact you as best as quickly as possible. But please, please reach out for as much help as you can get. Big watch.